At least 50 women, children, and elderly civilians managed to escape from the hellish besieged steel plant in Mariupol today. That's according to Ukrainian officials. These are images of them arriving by bus to a camp in, Rus in a Russian-controlled town. But hundreds more are still believed to be trapped inside that steel plant, struggling to survive in underground bunkers as Russian forces try to storm that Soviet-era complex. It's the last stronghold of Ukrainian resistance in the whole city. President Volodymyr Zelensky says the Russians are torturing the soldiers and the civilians inside with starvation. He says they're blocking international aid groups from bringing in basics like food, water, and other crucial supplies. President Zelensky also accusing the Russians of deporting to Russia more than half a million Ukrainians, in essence, kidnapping them and taking them away. The mayor of Mariupol released this video. He claims it shows what he calls a filtration camp near Mariupol, where he says the Russians are screening civilians, seizing their passports and their phones. NBC's Cal Perry reporting live tonight in the Ukrainian capital of Kyiv. Cal. Jeff, the deputy prime minister calling those evacuations of those 50 civilians basically a miracle, saying it was incredibly difficult and that the convoy actually was stalled for hours in the morning. They had hoped to get out more people. They were lucky to get the people out that they did. They are going to try again to evacuate folks from that steel facility. It is the last holdout in Mariupol. And on the other side of the city, Shep, truly semi-bizarre scenes as Russian forces are seeming to get ready for Victory Day, May the 9th, the day that Russia marks victory over the Nazis during World War II. We expect large parades in the city of Moscow. And as you see here from this video, possibly a smaller parade in and around the city of Mariupol. They have changed some of the street signs into Russian. Um, it is certainly something that officials say they are keeping their eye on. Here in the rest of the country, um, it is a country on high alert for May the 9th. We will have rolling curfews in some cities. Um, and the pri prime minister, as well as the president, asking people to pay attention to those air raid sirens. We've had air raid sirens here tonight um, in the Capitol. Back stateside, we heard from President Biden today. NBC News reporting that he is complimentary of U.S. intelligence officials. There were these reports that U.S. intelligence shared some of the locations of the ship, for example, the Moscow, which is then later sank. He did call the reporting of that and some U.S. officials who had said that they assist in the intelligence counterproductive. The Ukrainians are more quiet about the intelligence they receive and how they use that intelligence. It will It'll be interesting to see if Russia talks about this in the coming days. Yes, indeed. Jeff Cal Perry live in Kiev tonight.